Hi, you once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here. I have another video on a Ace Magic Mini PC. Ace Magic was kind enough to send me this S1 version of their mini PC. So I'm gonna do a quick little review here of this guy. And right off the bat, just looking at the packaging, this little mini PC has an LCD display here right on the very front. It looks like a little bit of RGB here going too. That's very interesting for something of this size. I will also point out that this mini PC uses, at the time of this video, one of uh, Intel's newer uh, mobile chips. It's the N-Series N95 processor that's in that's built into this mini PC. And we're going to take a quick look at some of the specs here just to see what it's ha this P mini PC has to offer. So as you can see here, this Ace Magic S1 mini PC sports the Intel 12th Gen Alder Lake N95 mobile chip it has a 20 watt tdp which means it runs cool we'll test that out uses intel uhd graphics this particular model has 16 gigs of ddr4 ram 3200 megahertz terabyte m.2 nvme we're going to take a quick look at that also here shortly two m.2 slots built in that's nice this has built in 802.11ax 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz dual band Wi-Fi 6 ready. And I will say the UHD graphics on this machine supports 4K at 60 hertz. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we got here. Open it right up and there's our device itself, our mini PC. It's Nice and compact, look at that, nice and compact. Almost, you know, just a little bigger than the size of my hand. Got another little box in here, probably contains the accessories. And right here we have a small stand that's for the mini PC. We'll talk about that a bit later. Inside the box we have our HDMI cable and we also have the power cable. Let's go ahead and unwrap the packaging around this mini PC. And as you can see here, there's some protective film that's protecting some of the glass on this one side of the case. We'll go ahead and peel that off. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what devices this PC supports. We have four USB ports here, two of which are 3.0. So that's pretty decent. Power button down below. Backside, we have two gigabit Ethernet ports and two HDMI ports for dual monitors we have a headphone jack your power uh your power jack there uh, and we got some more protective film there for the lcd let's see how we can open this guy up basically the side comes right off it's magnetic which makes it really to, easy to access i like that and after taking the side panel off that exposes the ssd here the m.2 and the one stick of ram uh, and if you also notice, there's also another slot where you can add another M.2 SSD so you can expand your storage. Nice. Then we'll go ahead and try to put some uh, benchmarkings of this uh, computer here. Let's, uh, let's test it out, see how it goes. So before we get into Windows, let's have a quick look here at the BIOS. It's pretty basic BIOS here. You can see your, your uh, advanced options, CPU configurations here. You can see some of the memory configurations also here. Maximum memory frequency can be adjusted, it looks like. Chipset information. You can, of course, password protect your BIOS. And some of your uh, boot options here. System weight, fast boot, etc., etc. Well, here we are on the desktop. We got HW info here loaded up. Let's have a quick look here at the temperatures at idle. And we're looking like we're hovering around 46C at idle on this chip. We'll also go ahead and take a quick little look at the memory. And uh, there's your memory timings there. It's funny, it's, it says it's Lexar memory, but it's branded as Oris. That's, that's pretty interesting, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some 4K video here. This is Big Buck Bunny running at 4K, 60 hertz. This does, I must say, run pretty darn smooth, quite impressive. Don't forget, you can run dual monitors on this setup. Processor runs at 3.4 gigahertz, and there is six megabytes of cache. Max memory is 16 gigs of RAM, but as you can see, 
This 4K video is running pretty darn smooth for what it is. Here is another 4K video running at 60 hertz. As you can see, running very smooth. This mini PC would be pretty darn good for, for your entertainment center in your living room or even in your bedroom. Running pretty smooth there. How does this mini PC do with gaming? Well, I will tell you, it won't play your high-end games. This is called Asphalt Legends. It's not a high-end game. It's from the Microsoft Store. It's a pretty simple game, but I'd like to see and test to see at least how well it plays these games. Again, this mini PC with that chip is not going to play your top PC titles. But let's just see how it does with some of these more, more uh, simply refined games here that you find like on the Microsoft Store. So, like I said, as you can see, I mean, the game is playable. You can see it's a little bit, little bit jerky, a little bit lower frame rates. But, you know, really, that is kind of to be what's expected uh, with the processor of the nature that's in this mini PC. But, you know, it is, it is playable. A little jerky, but, you know, what's to be expected? Let's go with another game here that's a little less demanding. This is Gran Turismo. As you can see, there's still some frame rate stuttering issues here with this. Once again, it is playable. Played on it there for a little while. And after playing on it for a while, I am super curious to see just how hot our temperatures got. Uh, so I've been having HW monitor running in the background this whole time. Let's see what the temperatures peak to. So as you can see here, the maximum temperature that this CPU got is 60 C. So that's really good, but you have to remember that is a N95, that's a mobile chip from Intel. So it's really not meant to get super hot, but that's pretty good. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the bundled software that is included when you receive this computer. There is an LED control application in here that allows you to control the RGBs on the front of, you, of the uh, mini PC. So as you can see here on the front of the mini PC, there is a small strip of RGB. So we're gonna go ahead and test out to see how that uh, this software works with that. You can turn it on and off just by clicking on, of course, the on and off button. Then you just hit the auto button and they'll come right back on. You can also, down here at the bottom, you can adjust the, the speed of which the RGBs are moving, like that. And then you can also adjust the brightness of the RGBs over here on the right. You slow them down or speed them up. You can change to what is called rainbow. We'll go ahead and select that. There's rainbow right there. Not much of a difference really, but it changes a little bit. Then you can change that to breathing. There you go, a little bit of a breathing thing going. And then you can go ahead and select color cycle and it will just sort of cycle through all the colors. So whatever floats your boat on the RGBs, that's what the software that's included with the PC uh, controls. So also included and bundled with this computer is some software that Ace Magic loads that allows you to control the, the LCD screen on the front of the mini PC. We're going to have a little close look at that. You can see this particular screen just shows you the CPU wattage, the temperature, um, the temperature high, temperature low, the fan speed. Uh, so, you know, it gives you some details like that, but we can change those. There are four different default options, but I just selected this one here. It uh, changes this scene up. There's another one. We just click OK here, and that'll change that LCD screen once again. So whatever fancies you, select what you like. Now, I know this mini PC is laying on its side. There is a reason for that. I'll get to that in a moment. But here are the different screen uh, interfaces here. There's another one. Looks pretty nice. Got a nice clock uh, in the center. Looks good. And then you can also go up to the Customize tab up top here and select that. Then you'll be able to customize each and every one of those, including some extra ones they give you. And then you can even choose your own background right here. So. 
That's a pretty nifty feature. Now everyone, I will say that LCD screen looks a lot better when it's standing up on end like this. And the stand that Ace Magic gives you leaves me a little bit confused. There's real no instructions on how they want you to use this stand. It looks like a few magnets are on that stand to maybe help hold it into place. But I felt it a little bit unstable. Uh, looks like it may be easy to knock over. Um, and especially, especially when you have as much things plugged into it as I have. As you can see here, with all the different devices I have plugged into this, it's nearly impossible to stand this uh, mini PC up on its side without a better uh, stand. I think Ace Magic can improve that a little bit. But other than that, I like the LCD idea, it's, it adds to it. Anyways, everyone, I will have a link to this mini PC down below this video in the description. Uh, I think this PC will suit you if you are doing uh, very light gaming, uh, office work, even uh, home entertainment, which this would also work good also. I think the LCD screen adds a little uh, touch, a nice little touch along with the RGB. Nice little pint size machine. It runs very cool for a mini PC, which I like. And I like the, the technology of the Intel mobile chips. Uh, it adds extra dimensions and extra uh, design ideas for PC makers like Ace Magic. This Ace Magic Mini PC sells on Amazon at the time of this video for around $230. Okay, guys, this is going to wrap it up for this video. I am Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.